Hey, I'm Jeff Gibbons, and I'm a videographer, a composer, and a part-time university instructor. I've always been into filmmaking, and it definitely started when I was a little kid. I saw a contest on the back of a cereal box to win something called the PXL2000. This was a Fisher-Price video camera that recorded onto audio cassette tapes. I sent in my back of my cereal box, and I was convinced I was going to win, and I did. I won the video camera and ended up filming my friends in my neighborhood and making all sorts of little videos. As I got older, I got right into music and recording and soundtracks. By the time I was about 25, I managed to weasel my way into a local feature film as the composer. And then also got hired to make hundreds of songs for children's books and animations. When our children started popping out, of course I got right into the camera world and sort of rose up the ladder of camera purchases. So every year I was buying a new camera and then selling off my old one. And each new camera promised some new form of HD technology that would turn me into a movie maker. Well, eventually I ended up at Vincent LaFerre's workshop at the brand new Creative Live headquarters in Seattle and spent a few days learning about filmmaking with a master and decided that it was time for me to start making movies officially. And eventually we required lights and sliders and stabilizers and we were ready to branch into the commercial world. I knew that people weren't gonna hire me without some kind of portfolio and I had to shoot something other than my children. And one of the first things I did was find a veteran at a Remembrance Day ceremony and talk to him and ask him if he would be interested in making a little documentary about him. It's just something I wanted to do for him and to respect what he did for us in World War II. So we went and filmed him. It was a beautiful experience. And my wife and I just love this guy. And we went on and made this something that we do for the last seven years or so. So we filmed five veterans and the only one who's still alive is the one that we just filmed this last week. These men and women were just amazing people and it's probably been one of the greatest experiences of my filmmaking journey. I also found some artists, so I found a local artist at a local art gallery who had a fascinating story. And then I found a First Nations artist named Isidore Charters. And I went and filmed a short video of him carving a totem pole. And that led to a feature length documentary about Isidore and his journey to recover from years of child abuse at the residential schools. Just an extraordinary experience as well. Once my wife and I realized we had enough to start making videos commercially, we went to a very cool local business, the Hilltop Cafe, and we asked the two ladies there if we could make a video for them. And they sort of didn't understand why we wanted to do this for free, but they said yes. So we filmed the video for them, and then that video went onto Facebook and led us to getting work with the Township of Langley, which also led to other business contacts, and we started making videos for these people. So this free gig that we did is the thing that opened up the world of paid work to our business. The latest thing that we are doing is taking my love of teaching and music and film and make a YouTube channel. I've been growing that over the last six months and it's been amazing to see the reaction around the world to the videos that I'm creating. My wife and I formed Gibbons Creative and the two of us just go around making these movies for whoever needs them. And this is just a little demo reel of some of the highlights of the last few years of filmmaking.
To those of you who are thinking about getting into filmmaking, I would say find yourself some stories that are worth telling. Go film these stories so that you're making something for them and you're making something for yourself. Free work is always going to lead to paid work if you tell those stories with authenticity and care and passion.